Hey everyone, Brendan Wiltsey here. Today I want to share with you five tips to take better photographs of your dog. All right, so the first tip is to focus on the eye. They say the eye is the window to the soul, but it is also the way we as people communicate with each other and with other animals. We look into their eyes. So you wanna make sure that the eye on your dog and typically the closest eye to the camera is tack sharp and in focus. All right, tip number two, get low. Get down at the same level as your dog. We often see photographs or we take quick snapshots of our dog standing up, right? And we, we take a shot looking down at them and those photos are really flat and two dimensional because you have your dog and then right behind it, the ground and there's no uh, sort of three dimensionality to those images. So by getting low, you're gonna shoot uh, your dog sort of at their level and you're gonna add a lot of uh, depth and dimension to your photograph. All right, tip number three, put your camera in continuous autofocus mode. You wanna make sure that as your dog moves around the frame, your camera is tracking the movement and keeping them in focus. For me personally, I, I typically have within that continuous mode, I usually use a single point or dynamic or group area autofocus so that I can place my focus point right over the dog's eye. And then if they move around a little bit, the camera will track uh, that the eye within that area, but it's not gonna jump to the background or to something off to the left or right. It's gonna stay in that little area that I've designated. Okay, tip number four, use a fast shutter speed. This is uh, really the, one of the number one reasons I see uh, dog photos, even my own, not coming out or not being sharp or in focus is not because I missed focus or I did poor composition, it's because I didn't use a fast enough shutter speed to freeze that fast action in motion of an erratic, fast moving dog. So I like to have my shutter speed somewhere around 1 500th of a second or higher, preferably around 1 1200th of a second if I'm photographing a dog that's moving quite a bit and is more active. If your dog is a little bit slower and, and not as uh, mobile and isn't moving around a lot, you can go much lower than that. But as a general rule of thumb, 1 500th of a second is a good place to start. Okay, tip number five, my last tip is to use a small f-stop for two reasons. One, if you're shooting a fast shutter speed, you're reducing the amount of light that's coming into the camera, and we need, need to offset that either with a wider aperture, which is a, a low f-stop, or higher ISO, and high ISO generally is gonna lead to uh, poor image quality. So by using a small f-stop, we're letting more light into the camera. The other benefit is if you're shooting low at your dog's level, and you have uh, background behind them, you're gonna have a shallower depth of field with that smaller f-stop, which is gonna help isolate them from their background, again, drawing focus to your dog and hopefully to its eye. Okay, I'm gonna throw in one bonus tip. I have uh, been photographing dogs now for, for a little bit and I've taken literally thousands. And the thing that I find is most beneficial when photographing a dog is to have some treats, a toy, or a person that they're bonded with nearby. Uh, if you want a do the dog to look, to look at the camera, make sure that you have their person or their favorite toy or a treat just above your head as the photographer. You don't want their person off to the side or someone calling them to the side unless you want them to look in that direction. But if you want them looking at the camera or just off the camera a bit, make sure you have something high value uh, to distract them with while you're photographing them. Also realize that you want to practice that shot before you introduce that distraction. Most dogs will quickly figure out that their toy or their treat, they're not getting it the way they want and they'll start to get distracted with the whole shooting environment. So set up ahead of time, make sure that you're sort of practice the shot a couple times, whip out that treat or that toy, give it a squeak or, sh or show it to them, get their attention and be ready to snap that photo. So those are my five tips plus one bonus for getting better photographs of your dog. And who doesn't like getting better shots of their favorite furry friend? If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. I'll catch you next time.